but she sounds good. Today's test drive a 1956 Chevy 210 trim level. 350 under the hood. No power steering on this one, no power brakes. A couple upgraded pulleys in the front. Well, three, to be exact. Pedal Brock carb. Upgraded exhaust. Got that electric fan. Aftermarket set of wheels. Drum brakes all the way around. She's red with the chrome and the black interior. Dual exhaust. 100 detailed pictures available at maplemotors.com along with three different finance companies that you can pick from. We also have shipping. We can ship this thing anywhere in the country. For now, hit subscribe. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we leave, place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Look at that mileage. I hope it never changes. <laughs> That's great. Got the aftermarket gauges here. Look at this custom console. Headliner's nice and clean, light works. Ron Dawson was the previous owner, I assume. Glove box light works. Hit the ignition. She starts up good. We do got a generator light. But I think it's just from where the idle's so low. Yeah. I think it's all it was. Tilt column, turn signals. Flashing on both sides there. Windshield wipers do work. Good deal. Uh, radio. Code. I think the radio's broke. It says code. Blower motor works. Horn, did you place your bets? Tack works, gas gauge, I don't know man, the gas gauge is on E, what about the horn? Yeah. Woo, it works. Time to hit the road, see how this one runs and drives. Here we go guys, no seat belts in this one unfortunately. We're gonna stop and get a little bit of fuel. Our engine temperature is coming up, great oil pressure at 35. Let's see what we got here. There's reverse force, no power steering, and that's a knuckle buster. It needs a uh, extension for the back of the steering wheel. So every time I turn, I'm hitting my turn signal there. So I'm just gonna have to steer from the front side on my left hand, which is fine. Just something I get used to. Brakes are grabbing. Look at that, watch. As soon as I hit them, they're kind of pulling to the left there. We're gonna see if we can knock some dust off of them. These drum brakes, they'll get a lot of rust and dust built up from sitting. Here we go. Good shift there. A little bit of slack in the steering, and that happens a lot of time when there's no power steering. Shifting out good, a little bit of a right pull there. Now I know the brakes are gonna go to the left when I hit them. Oh, they're actually going to the right. Knock some dust off of them though. Getting in the throttle. number it's correct still pulling to the right a little bit when you punch it down the passing gear is not engaging it's got plenty of pep though now what we're going to do is stop and get a little bit of fuel it's not pulling to the right no more you see that finally knock the dust off. A lot of times with drum brakes, that's how it is. We will pull in here, we will get some fuel. I'm gonna have to back in unless, I'm gonna let them go first, maybe. No, yeah, no, go. Oh, like she knows what's going on. Either way, I'm gonna 
to get some gas and I'll be back. It's pretty cool on these uh, where you put the gas in. People are fighting for spots over here. I don't know what's going on. Don't be crazy. Twenty dollars of premium fuel, like we always do. I love the hideaway gas cap behind the tail light. How about that? Isn't that cool? Ninety-three octane is what we run. Let's see if the gas gauge works at all. I'm kind of hoping it does, but it might not. It didn't really come up anymore. Still on E, it moves up a little bit. I mean, it should have moved up to a half a tank. Vitals on this thing, 30, and we're still pretty cool on water. Definitely stays cool. All right, it's time to roll. Got y'all set up on the dash cam there. Now y'all are connected to my camera. If you wanna see what I use to make these videos, look below in the description. It's full of links, including the base knob that we do uh, show off all the time, which I love. I got them in every car. It's the best one you could buy, that's for sure. Here we go, rolling out. Now this car seems to run and drive awesome. The picking out the flaws section went very well. Not a whole lot of flaws on the paint job.
She's smooth going down the road. Let's see if our interior lights work. Well, I can't see them right now, but you would think they'd have popped on. I don't think they do. I don't think our dash lights are cutting on for nighttime. Bump in the road. A little stiff in the back, but pretty smooth over the, overall. It's not bad at all. Okay guys, we've made it back to Maple Motors. Please hit subscribe, that's gonna help my channel out. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you. I will, see you in the next one. We're gonna walk this ride. Anything I find you'll know about it. I'm looking for chips, scratches, rust dents. Let's get started in the front. Little chip there right behind the chrome. Looking at the front bumper here. Looking nice. spot there it's like it's touched up chip here on top wait that's overspray silver they got silver on something from something I don't know go down the side chip there a couple runs wiped right off little specks they come right off too must have been from the road Touch up, Mark. Mid section. Chip right there. That's crazy. That is definitely a little silver speck. There's a chip there. Okay, come off. Ding in your trim. Back window on this one looks pretty good. Chip here. Going up to the back. Chrome looks good on the bumper in the rear. A scuff there. Touch up marks. Looking in your jams. Seal there looks older, but still soft.
It's getting a little chilly. Speaking of that, I'm having me a chili cook-off this Saturday. You're all invited. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, hell! there's some water there. I need to get that out. Well, it seems to be dry everywhere else. But, right there. <clears throat> Shut's good. Yeah, me and all my friends, we do chili cook-off every year. I'll tell you how it was. Got to, got to do something. Cook-offs. Little gap there. Little chip here. Imperfection in the paint there. It's very subtle, so you might not see it. A little crack here. Back when it looks good. What about down this side, lower portion? <clears throat> Mid section. It's a real clean car right here, guys. <sighs> it's water. A little bit of pitting on your vent window. Now, if you see something in this video that you want gone over again, no problem. Look at the 100 detailed pictures and then request it and we'll send you more information on this car. This is any video, guys. Our main goal is to let you know all the information before you get here to make the choice easy. Now, if you've ever bought a car from us, you understand we leave you alone, let you check things out. We're not going to be pushy on sales. That's not us. If you say you don't want it, that's fine. It come right off. There's some wax on this one too. It feels pretty soft on the paint. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Door panel. Back up here. <clears throat> the underside. No headrest on these seats. They look okay. Package tray is nice and clean. Headliner is also awesome. Super clean. I love the console. sheet on it. We'll get them to clean all that out. As soon as we get back.
Motor is quiet. You sound good. Coming on down with the hood. Again, 100 detailed pictures, three finance companies, and a shipping company you can pick from. If you have other questions about this vehicle and you want to know more information, no problem. Give me a call, 615-822-4444. We're here to help you out, guys. Come in person, check them out. But I do want you to have all this information before you show up so you know what to expect. All right. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.